Brookville Road. There's a little bit of congestion through there and a couple of breakouts on Route 1 through Midway. And as you head by the outlets in Rehoboth this morning, but really traffic is moving nice and smooth there through on Route 1. I'm Mike Slusser on The Voice Radio Network. Traffic brought to you by WSFS Bank. When you bank with WSFS Bank, your money stays here in the community, helping the people and businesses where you live and work. At WSFS Bank, we've been working hand-in-hand with businesses in our region for almost 200 years. Along the way, we've learned what it takes to be a good business banking partner. Like bankers with decades of local experience who are actually decision makers. So every business loan we make is approved right here. Experience, service, and accessibility. That's how WISFIS has become the largest locally headquartered business lender in the region. We're WSFS Bank and we stand for service. How can we help your business grow? To learn more, visit WSFSBank.com. Member FDIC. Sarah Haynes. Hi. Hey, good morning. It's Bill and Jessica, Power 1017 in Ocean City, Maryland. How are you? I'm good. Thank you so much for having me. Hey, thank you so much for checking in. Um, you know, we appreciate it. Where are you calling from this morning? I'm calling from the the Jurors. I'm in New Jersey at my home. The oh, Dirty nice, Jurors. Nice. nice. Dirty Jurors. But when you're from Iowa, I have no stereotypes. Everything's cooler here. So, <laughs> my, Right, when right. When I say I'm from New Jersey, I say it with complete pride, and people are like, okay. Hey, you know what? My wife's from Philly, so right next to Jersey. So, you know, yes, we, we, we head up that way very often. We like Jersey. Yes. Do you ever vacation uh, at the beach? you ever go down, down the shore? We haven't done that much. Uh, we've only been out here since the, during the pandemic. Okay. <laughs> we haven't done a lot of discovery yet. We're working on it. Gotcha. Got it. Well, listen, put Ocean City, Maryland on your uh, on your list. You got to come down it here to the on beach. on there already. Really? Yes. I had a dear friend that worked in tourism from uh, Santa Monica, California, that's from Maryland, that's back in Maryland. And I'm like, I'm going to make it to you. It's just as soon as these babies aren't so little, I will actually get time to leave. <laughs> well, you'll love yeah, it. Yeah, do it. Yeah, not, not Ocean City, New Jersey. I'm talking about Maryland. There's two different Ocean Maryland. Cities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, look, uh, Sarah, thank you again for checking in. We appreciate it. The, the chase, that's what we're promoting. That's what we're talking about. For people, uh, yeah. you know, who don't know about the show, uh, give us, you know, kind of like a synopsis of how uh, it works. And you are the host of The Chase. So um, go ahead, give us a rundown. So The Chase, uh, we have the the goats of Jeopardy, uh, Ken Jennings, Jane Fultower, uh, Brad Rutter. We also have Mark LeBette, uh, The Beast who's from the original versions of The Chase, because The Chase has been a formula that works globally. But it takes the quiz show uh, of knowledge, kind of the Jeopardy-esque questions, and amps it up into these competitions that are timed. Okay. So with each level, you're trying to build your cash, and then a contestant's going one-on-one against the chaser. If they survive the one-on-one, they make it to the final round. There's three contestants, so you can have it. You can have no one make it. You could have three or any combination thereof. They take on the chaser one more time in a timed round. They have an advantage because anytime the chaser misses a question, they have a chance to answer and push him back. So the game is geared to really give these contestants a leg up. But what's shocking is there are times where you just think there's no chance in heck that one ending could happen, and then it does. Yes, it's right under the buzzer. So I feel like it, for it, some for some reason I feel like um, this show is going to do very well, and then I feel like eventually in a few years, not only are we going to be seeing possibly new episodes, but we're going to be seeing like the reruns on the Game Show Network. That's how good I think it's going to do. You know what? I have to normally I always am cautiously optimistic, but the success this this game has had across, especially in England, Australia. There are places where this is their jeopardy. Like wow. they are oh, okay. with the game. So that kind of shows you the format has success on its side. Yeah. You got to make it work here in the U.S. And I think what you're also going to see over time is different chasers. Okay. So we are gunning to get a woman in there. We want, you know, we want to show the world that brilliant people come in all different packaging. So I think it works to have these goats come in because they were the draw. And they're not going anywhere. We hope to hold them, too. But in other versions, like in England, they just increase the, the, the toolbox of chasers. So I think the cool part is you could also see some really tough people come in that you just aren't expecting and join that chaser group. 
Right. No, absolutely. Well, again, uh, definitely looking forward to checking it out. The Chase, Sundays, 9 o'clock on ABC. And, of course, you can stream it on ABC and Hulu. Do you think more people are watching live or do you think more people are streaming? This is just something for my for, for, for me. <laughs> That's a great question, Bill. That's hard to tell right now because I think the okay. streaming started, uh, you know, uh, it coincides with this season's release. But right. I don't think of summer as a huge time for people to be watching because I think it's when people vacation and they're all over the place. So I would argue maybe a lot of people are getting it on Hulu. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, also, Sarah, you're one of the co-hosts on The View. So, I mean... Very cool. How is it working on the set of The View with Whoopi Goldberg among all the other hosts? Well, so I was there for a couple of years, and then I had an opportunity to do a show with Michael Strahan and eventually Kiki Palmer. And due to the pandemic, we went off the air, and then it was totally tough to bring it back. And so I came back to The View. I love being here, and the most exciting part is we're heading into our 25th season, and there's Whoopi Goldberg, Joy Behar, Sunny Hostin, and myself. This year, they're using the additional chair because Megan McCain recently announced she's leaving the show. Right. That they're going to use that to bring back fan favorites of people that have been in the cast to try out new voices that are different, you know, conservative, some, you know, uh, comedians, celebrities. Like, they're going to really play with that. So the timing of this has allowed for a big excitement rolling into the first time we're back after the pandemic combined with a big anniversary combined with an available chair so it's going to be a fun ride this year yeah no that, that's definitely exciting i mean you guys that, that shit congratulations on all that success that show has been just like a staple for daytime tv yep. for years and for you to be say yes. hey I, i'm one of the co-hosts on there i'm on the view i mean that's big um, I, I literally pinched my, like, I watched this show for years when Meredith was on it. My brother was, he lives here in New York, and he's always like, when I left The View, I was like, I feel like you don't watch the show I'm on now. He's like, Sarah, you know I was an OG fan of The View before you were there. So right. he stayed watching The View when I left. He's been there the whole time. So <laughs> when I came back, he was thrilled, and I think it, it hits you. This is such a legendary sorority of strong women with bold voices and put myself anywhere in that collection is is um it's humbling it's, right. it's really cool well no absolutely again sarah haynes uh host well, one of the hosts of the view also host of the chase which is what we're promoting every sunday night nine o'clock on abc it's also streaming on abc and hulu if people want to follow you uh how can they do that you can find me on instagram twitter i'm just my name sarah haynes and i keep kind of all the projects up to date on there, including the family project, my three little. <laughs> right. Very good. Well, look, uh, Sarah, thank you so much for checking in. We appreciate it. Ocean City, Maryland, when you come, look up Power 1017. Look up Power 1017 when you come. That's the first place I'm going when I get there. I'm tuning in. Yeah, and then we'll bring you up in studio. We'll, we'll have a good time. I will announce when I'm coming, I will let you know in advance because I'd love to be able to give you guys a hug in person. You're, okay. the, you're the best. Thank you so much for checking in. We appreciate <laughs> it. Thank you, Billy. Power 1017 has your 